Exile! <laughs> no, my name is John. My name is John. I uh, post as John if you were on the meetup.com forum. Here to uh, tell some jokes, hopefully make you feel a little less uncomfortable about being out in public with all this friendship and magic related hoo-ha. <laughs> we have See, no shame. I was told, uh, here. I was told Euro here. Pony was here, but I missed him. Yeah. Uh, which is, I, I wanted to ask him if he made an eight minute remix of the second verse of the opening theme from the Twilight uh, <laughs> Sparkle Plushie yet. <laughs> Give him, admonish him because I know that he hadn't. Uh, there were some baked goods earlier, I had a muffin, that was delicious. You know, which is, I, it's fantastic, because somebody mentioned cupcakes, and I was a little worried and I didn't want to come if the meat and the burgers was going to be horse and not beef. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling good about having that muffin, because, you know, like, my, my colors, I'm feeling derper already. You know, I'm just, I'm going to get my, probably cutie mark earlier tonight. Somebody had a derpy here was cutie mark, actually, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So how you ponies doing? You enjoying yourselves? Having a good time so far? Yeah. 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 I gotta be totally honest with you though. I'm actually kind of having a bad week. Um, so I, w I went on vacation this week, right? You know, Celestia forbid. I take a week off to play some seashells, collect some volleyballs, <laughs> and go back to a clean cave. But oh no! <laughs> Gave me some crap about some dryer lint, a sack of flour. It's a load of crap, is what that is. <laughs> not putting up with it. No, I decided to just relax, read some of the news, just catch up on the dailies, you know, because I know I missed a little bit while then. A few headlines popped out at me, actually. A, po a Ponyville couple, app uh, I'm sorry, a Ponyville couple's application for marriage was delayed when it was discovered that the couple had an unusual makeup of one mare and one stallion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a church group was proposing a local ordinance banning dragons from town, but they withdrew their petition after an incident involving, quote, spiked punch. <laughs> a letter from a mayor calling themselves Anonymous Winged Unicorn responded to a positive editorial about Princess Celestia last week. Quote, I don't get why every pony thinks the sun is so special. Now I'm not saying every pony needs to sleep during the day and admire the moon, but I'm just saying it wouldn't hurt the safety and security of all of Equestria. <laughs> a Q&A session will be held uh, to the public, dress massive confusion over a traveling ex art exhibit coming to Ponyville entitled Horse-Drawn, Horse-Drawn Carriages. <laughs> Along with the Majestic Buffalo. Yet another terrorist attack from the communist-leaning Ponytariot Party left a terrible toll at the Lakeside Amusement Park. When asked about the devastation, the park's owners and operators said it would be at least two months before Funnel Cake Stand would be operational again. <laughs> An especially interesting listing from the personals column this week. <clears throat> Saw you at the gala, ate your pie. <laughs> <laughs> Come fly with me sometime. Call Canterlot 7627. <laughs> and that was all the pony fit to print. You know, I love that feeling of being a brony. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm ever so slightly involved in the creative process of the show. Like, they're actually paying attention over at it. And I think a lot of that has to do with the freedom they get by, by working at the hub. And, you know, I, honestly, I'm still looking forward to that Dan versus crossover where he swears vengeance on all Pegasus because it's too cloudy one day. <laughs> Can you imagine if the show's on like an overbearing kind of corporate network like Disney? Like everyone would notice Derpy Hoops in that first episode, and you know the meme would you know just catch fire on the internet. Everybody would notice it, write stories and all that stuff. Because it's Disney, you get a really mean letter from their lawyers. So I don't have no more studio fashion to watch the background ponies. <laughs> there are no crossing Pegasus in the background. Um, and on all future showings, they blot it out in the background like an old Russian propaganda film. <laughs> There's a German guy editing Russian propaganda films. I have no idea how that worked. That's just how evil Disney is. <laughs> yeah. I do love those uh, those German uh, like uh, comics, and then the fan dubs too. German language is awesome. Everything's very stilted and direct, very powerful. You know, I just—I don't know if anybody you read the the comic that got posted up. You know, from the German translation. I just can't help but reading it like, "Thank you for helping me get get all these muffins. Be delicious. It is not a party for salty muffins." Stop drinking. <laughs> German government. 
we broke their knee. <laughs> now, this is probably the most awkward kind of passion hobby I've ever had. I mean, like, I was into Digimon when I was 12. Yeah. Down, right? And my sister made fun of me for it. I was like, whatever. You know, watch it like a boss every Saturday morning. Six o'clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but uh, this is this is kind of weird, you know. Like every, I mean, it shouldn't be right, but it still feels right. I mean, what is wrong with me going to the Toys R Us, skulking around the dolls section, talking to little girls about, you know, I haven't really said it out loud to myself. <laughs> they may have a point. <laughs> No, I did go into the Toys R Us though, and uh, a couple months back, I'm just looking for general toy stuff, and you know, I couldn't find anything, you know, anything good. And so the manager saw me looking around, he's like, hey, you know, can I help you find anything? It's like, all right, big guy, show us No fear, no shame, no griffins, here we go. <laughs> I come searching for my little pony wares and toys, should good shopkeep. <laughs> They're over there. Sweet. <laughs> I mean, it's cool about it, though. I mean, it, is, it isn't weird for a guy to go in, buy some pony toys for his, you know, his kid or his little sister or whatever. You know, just I get there and it says, here they are. Oh, this should be great. Thank you. But uh, he didn't leave, though. <laughs> just kind of stood there. He's showing me all the stuff. There's, the, there's some G3 stuff, some G4 stuff over here mixed in together. And, you know, it's. I'm just standing there, I'm just waiting for the question, you know? You don't want a question. <laughs> Who are you buying this for? <laughs> it's like, all right, you know what? I got enough pride. I'm buying this for myself. Yeah, and I said it right to him. Now, to the untrained ear, it may have sounded like I'm buying this for my little sister. <laughs> Standing between me and the manager, I think we really, I think we really connected, and he knew what I actually. Meant. Yeah. Official toys kind of do suck, though. Actually, I mean, like the, the off colors and weird eyes and the Applejack heart truck thing. <laughs> I have a theory that she just bootlegs at night. That's why we don't see it in the show. Yeah. I mean, there's the the one good toy though. There's the there's the I think the Celestia one. <laughs> Push the button. Oh, I mean, Oh, no, it's just a loving amount of detail and majestic crown, silky flowing hair. Brush. 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 My wings are so pretty. I know, so. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand us. 